Hello, beautiful Taurus, rising and sun sign Taurus. Let's get started with your astrological life path reading for the month with tarot and astrology. Taurus, we have the energy of a sunny day. We see a woman with a tiny umbrella and we see three little ladybugs down here. So after a period of time of darkness in your life, the sun is coming out to shine so much so that you may be blinded by it. So we have a little umbrella to protect you from the heat, but we see a beautiful time in your life emerging from the darkness. You know, you're emerging from a period and which you can't wait for new growth. You're anticipating it with a lot of um, optimism. The energy of the White Rose of Hope says that as you leave darkness behind, your way is illuminated by this beautiful White Rose. Whatever you fear right now will not come to fruition. You have a beautiful light leading the path. You're illuminating your pathway into something brand new, Taurus. We have Uranus, the planet of sudden changes and enlightenment, and Mars. So many of you have initiated this energy in the recent past. Encouragement is all about that you are getting divinely supported by the universe, that this is a beautiful month of having people around you that adore you, that want to nurture you, that are encouraging you to go for it, go for your dreams. Nothing is too big for you to manifest at this time. Agape love is about loving spirit. It's about looking at the ocean, inhaling the beauty and the the goddess or God that was is within that view. Really honoring earth and the symbology and the the nurturing that you get spiritually from everything around you. It's being optimistic. It's being grateful. It's really about worshiping that which has true value, enlightenment, love, and letting go of those things that do not help you evolve and feel good. Agape love is soothing, very soothing, very healing kind of love. And you can get that from your everyday environment with gratitude. The advice from the ancestors and ancients is the Shalom Master, Sholan Master, the graceful movement, be graceful in movement and action. Taurus, the Two of Cups is in your first house. You are feeling a great deal of love right now towards someone who is a partner, could be a friend, but for most of you, this will be a significant other. You feel a lot of gratitude towards this person. We see the Two of Cups in the Rider weight. that's a bride and groom that you're, you are being catapulted in this very strong energy and life force that is coming from your partner um, with this Scorpio energy down here on the seventh house. So for most of you, you have a partner who is very abundant financially and in their career. And we see this person moving you forward and saying, come with me, come with me, Taurus, come with me. We're going to hold my hand as we go on a new adventure. Mars energy, that's all about Aries energy, taking action, taking sudden action, enlightened action as you move forward. You you could be the initiator of this. This could be you, Taurus, or a partner. Whatever resonates with you. The reading is different. It's a general reading for everyone. So take it as it resonates. The, what's meant for you or what card describes your life is yours. We have this beautiful, creative, intellectual energy in your house of money, earned money, your finances, everything you value. 
Taurus, you have a heart of gold. You feel so vibrant right now. You feel very happy. It looks as though for many of you, you've fallen in love recently. You've had, uh, or you've fallen in love again with a partner that you've had for a long period of time. Many of you are married because this is a marriage card, 10 of earth. Many of you may get married because we have the two of cups, bride and groom, rider weight, the 10 of pentacles, legacy marriage, rider weight. So we see you acting independently within this month, but we also see you in a very vibrant situation in which your money is following your heart, that you're going to be doing something that you love. It does look as though there may be a little bit of cash flow issue coming from a partner. There may be a period of time in which you're in between jobs while you make a very strong move in a different direction. There's a lot of change that's very positive here in your chart and in your energy for this month of February, Taurus. The Tower card, and as we notice, the Tower card is in your third house. So it does look as though you will be moving to a different neighborhood. Tower is restructuring, but this Tower you're not leaving a disaster. You're leaving a very stable environment to go to something that is going to thrill you and chill you into a life-altering change. I do not think that you are likely to want to return to the neighborhood. I don't think that, you know, whatever you're doing here in terms of your thinking about where you want to live, where you want to be, I see many of you, Taurus, who may be single, who are considering a move possibly from your local neighborhood into a, a home with a partner or a different neighborhood because this is your local environment. This is far away. So for many of you, these marriage energies may be coming to fruition and requiring you to leave a place that you've been for many years, a local neighborhood, into something that seems more exotic, more lo you know, loftier, that really sort of brings out the inner philosopher in you. And it is transformative energy. Again, traditional marriage card. You want everything to be done and you want to have, you want everything done correctly, very traditionally. Your home, your hearth is looking as though it may be in a warmer energy. We have fire sign. We have Leo energy on your fourth house of home. And that could feel like summer because in the United States anyway, summer is a time of Leo. We see your partner and or your career going through a boom. We see your home is very stable. The nine of earth, you have plenty of money and abundance to have a beautiful home. So you're making this move for those of you who are moving, for those of you who are staying, it just simply appears that you will be redecorating, remodeling, you will be doing something to add value to your home. Now, in your career, we have you be, you're exhausted from your career. You really are. The four of air is just, give me a break. I need to have a hot moment to myself to think about things. Somehow, some way, you are entering this age of Aquarius with a big boom. This has not been available. This configuration of the age of Aquarius is bringing in a new career path that that will give you a lot of freedom, a lot of freedom for self-expression. You may be signing a contract for new employment. It looks as though as Venus right now, which is in Capricorn, uh, is moving into Aquarius in the next two days, uh, even today, later today or tomorrow early. You have good fortune. You may be working for an international company that provides beautiful benefits for you, but we see you in a period of time of being able to work through a period of exhaustion and come into this divine energy right now that you have not had available to you in many, many years. Heck, many of you might not have even been alive in 1962, which is the last time this enlightened configuration happened in the, the world of astrology. 
in your love life, we see you feeling as though you're missing a person, your lover, your Seven of Air is about a time of pulling back and operating under the wire. So if you have a new relationship starting, you're being very quiet about it. You're being very covert about it. You're being very practical. So for those of you who are starting a new romance right now, it would be quiet. Shh. Don't tell anybody yet until we know where the relationship is going. Now, in your house of acquaintances, your friends, your association, your affiliation, your work relationships is a time with Neptune energy. It's a time of confusion. The Six of Earth says that you're very stable, but right now you are looking for an environment and, a, and an environment of manifesting something that would be speak to your spiritual self that your hopes and love you know your hopes for your romance for your life as as a, you know a continuum you really want to have something much better spiritually you are looking for only those relationships which offer equal give and take and you understand inherently that right now if you choose incorrectly, you won't get what you want. But if you stay very grounded in the Six of Earth energy, you will have a lot of success in terms of your, you know, really manifesting what you want in a partner. The Seven of Fire, you are in the, the realm right now of at work. You may feel a bit defensive. The Seven of Fire says that you are a unicorn, man. You are producing. You are powerful. You are a good employee. But somebody is very aggressive with you at work. Somebody is pretty annoying with you at work. You know, when we get the energy that you really don't feel as though you have anybody to help you at work, uh, because you have the hanged man, that's Neptunian energy. So in the work environment, I would say that you feel as though you're being undermined by work relationships this time. You know, if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not your part of the reading because it's a general reading. But we see you not really taking action. You're staying very balanced using this Libra energy. You don't let things get to you. Even when they get to you, you do not respond but you are really coming into your own. You're being recognized at work as being a, a tour de force. You are someone who is very, very powerful at work. So Taurus, if you want to enter the contest, please check the description box. But all you have to do, spoiler alert, is like, subscribe with the all notifications bell next to it, and leave a comment so I can find you. Four readings will be given away. On, on March 1st for the month of February. Please join us on the channel. We'd love to have you. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Bye-bye, Taurus.